Kawan was a good kid, a loving child. You know, I loved him and he loved me. This morning, a mother mourning the loss of her son and questioning whether 15 year old Kwan Charles was murdered. I cannot sleep at night like I want to. I'm constantly thinking about my son and trying to figure out exactly how he died. The family says Kwan disappeared and they reported him missing October 30th. Video from that day shows him being picked up by a friend and the friend's mother. His body was found November 3rd in a sugar cane field about 20 miles away, his face barely recognizable. Roxanne Nelson believes police could have saved her son had they acted faster. They could have done more. They didn't, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Had they done what they were supposed to do, my son would be alive today. But I feel because my son was black, it didn't matter to them. Local police never notified state police to issue an Amber Alert, nor did police report Kwan's disappearance to local media. Amber Alerts in Louisiana are issued by the state police. The state police cannot issue Amber Alerts if they are not notified of missing children. If any one person had done their job, Kawan would probably be alive today. The family's attorney points to other cases of missing children when police took faster action and believes this case was different because Kawan was a young black boy. We don't think they looked at Kawan and saw their own children. We don't think that his life was high enough on the totem pole for them to exhaust all resources. The family also questions why police didn't ping Kwan's cell phone to find him the day he was reported missing, instead waiting four days and then finding his body. Do you think that if, if local police had reached out to state police and if they pinged uh, Kwan's phone earlier, sooner, do you think that your son would be home with you today? Yes, I really believe he would. But because they didn't, he's not with me. And he won't ever be with me again, ever. He's gone forever because they didn't do their job. Baldwin police officials say Kwan's disappearance didn't appear to indicate he was in danger. We didn't see where it felt uh, that, that uh, it met that criteria of an abduction or a kidnapping because there was no eyewitnesses or no one to say that he had jumped into a vehicle or if someone kidnapped him or even uh, beat him and took him into that vehicle. Investigators say they've interviewed the people last seen with Kawan and, quote, are actively tracking their whereabouts. The coroner's report ruling Kawan likely drowned and that injuries to his face were likely caused by aquatic animals after his death. But his family is not convinced. And as his mom fights for answers, she's grieving a son gone too soon. I love my child and I'm missing him like crazy.